the law, the highest praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Brother, this is no recreation room. Hey! I said this is a battlefield, not a recreation room. The Bible said in Ephesians 3 that now under the intent that under the principalities and powers in the supernatural sphere might be made known by the church. By the church, I said, might be made known by the church. The manifold, out, the many outleted wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus when he raised him from the dead. They made war with the saints. Anybody here feel like the devil's made war with you? Anybody here feel like the devil's drawn a line in the sand and dared you to pass over it? Anybody here believe that the devil's called in imps and demonic forces and principalities and powers and assigned them specifically to see to it that you don't get whatever it is that God promised you in this book? Will you wake up tonight? I said, is there anybody like that in the building? Well, the rest of you are dead. Did you hear me? The rest of you are dead. Brother, we are emblazed in the most mortal conflict known in the ages. The sides are drawn. The line is drawn. The devil's on one side and we're on the other. Hey! Now let me tell you what he said here. I beheld... You should have been here Wednesday night. We just got another, we just got another double dose of Holy Ghost boldness to go into the corridors of prayer and tear down satanic strongholds. Loose the grip of satanic bondage. But now it's a fight. Did you hear me? I said it's a fight. You're not gonna just sit by and Mamby pamby and go to church and fold your arms a little time to slumber. It's time to wake up. It's time to man your battle stations. If you're sick and tired of the devil running over you, then stop him in the name of Jesus. Yay! My God, this is good. Watch this now. Said it made war with the saints and it prevailed against them. And nobody's shouting now. That's the same thing that Jesus, Jesus said to Peter when they sat at the triclinium. Said, Simon, Simon, Satan had desired to have you that he might sift you as wheat. He actually said, Satan hath requisitioned and received permission to have you. Brother, there comes a time when the enemy 
Not many preachers would tell you this now. I'm just going to go ahead and get comfortable early. I said, not many preachers would tell you this. Brother, we're in conflict. Did you hear what I said? Conflict. Conflict. I'm tired of the devil thinking he runs the show. And at every opportunity, I'm letting him know there is still a God in Israel. Yay! I appreciated the opportunity you gave me to preach this morning. We had a U.S. congressman here in the building. And brother, if there was anything left out, I don't know what it was. Spirit of God said to me, tell him what I said. We got on everything from capital punishment to abortion to pornography to prayer in schools. And they may turn a deaf ear to it, but when I stand in glory, I will have cleared my soul before God. Is anybody happy in this Pentecostal church? Are there any Holy Ghost people in the building? Yeah! Yeah! Listen to what it says now. Said it seemed that the enemy prevailed against the church. Brother Stu, I wondered where you been, boy. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to have a Holy Ghost breakout tonight. I can, I can feel it. I said I can feel it. Yeah. There's victory in the house tonight. We reclaim an enemy held territory. Taking back what the devil stole. Shout yes. There may come a time. When the devil stands over you and you're down on the mat, number one, ten counts and you're out, two, three. Devil's got your head under his heel, four, five. You think you're never getting up, six, seven. You feel like there's not another prayer left in you, eight, nine just about ready to say 10 and you're out are you listening I wish my body keep up with my spirit I want you to know something tonight it's time to get back up off the canvas some of you have allowed the devil to walk into your life steal your joy steal your anointing steal your victory steal your confession steal your discipline steal the glory of God right off your life some of you have let him take your salvation he's stolen the baptism in the Holy Ghost from you are you in this building and the devil prevailed against them I'm glad it didn't stop there you are no match for the devil you better get this highfalutin, charismaniac, playpen theology out of your mind. You are no match for the devil. The Bible said that when Michael came disputing with the devil over the body of Moses, he would bring no railing accusation against him. It's not your job to defeat the devil. You're no match for the devil and you'll fail every time. You'll fail against temptation. You'll fail against doubt. You'll fail against wondering. You'll fail in your marriage. You'll fail in your business when it's you trying to fight. Ephesians 3.20 said, Now unto him. I'm about to grab him at any minute. Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundance above all that we ask or think according to his power his power it's his power it's God's power but it's at 
work in me. Well, I just couldn't get it out of my spirit all afternoon. I've got so much I want to preach to you, but I'm not sure I'm going to get the opportunity. Brother, I am drawing a line tonight. I am sick and tired of you getting your answer and the devil stealing it back from you. I'm tired of you getting freed from that sickness and another sickness comes back on you. You know what I'm talking about tonight. I'm tired of you getting peace in your home between your husband and your wife and then you find out your kid's on dope. I'm tired of you getting freedom in your mind and that depression spirit coming back on you. I'm tired of you getting on your feet financially and the devil knocks the props back out from under you again. I said, I've had it. I've had it. I'm going to tell you how he's doing it. He's stealing the word out of your heart. Am I telling the truth? He's stealing the word out of your heart. He doesn't want your kids. He wants the word about your kids. I can't help it. I'm full. I'm about to blow up. I got something to give you tonight, brother. My hands get on you tonight. You're not going to get a little dabble, do you? I got news for you tonight. The deluge of the blessing of God is flowing out of my belly like a little... to get my hands on you. I told the devil this afternoon, that's it. That's it, you dog. You get your hands off this congregation. You get your hands off this congregation. You get your filthy lying tongue off this church. Somebody said he appears mad. I'm stirred up, that's for sure. Tired of you running around with your chin dropped down. Tired of you running around afraid of the secular world. Tired of you running around thinking you got to hang your head in the presence of a bunch of people ready to split hell wide open. It's time for you to stop taking a back seat. Look at Jesus. I'm telling you, the devil wants that word out of your heart. Some of you are letting things, doubt, unbelief, come out of your tongue that before you would have never uttered. Well, I feel so bad. You're going to feel worse tomorrow. Well, I don't know which way to turn. How about up? Well, I don't know what to do. How about praise? Yay! Woo! Yay! Jesus being baptized of John in the river Jordan are you listening to me see it now John baptizing Jesus in the river Jordan suddenly a voice speaks the word of the living God this is my beloved son you think the devil's going to leave that alone? Immediately the spirit driveth him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil 40 days and 40 nights. The moment God spoke his word about the situation, immediately the devil showed up and said, If thou be the Son of God, what do you mean, dog, if I be the Son of God? The man just announced it from the portals of glory. It's God's word to me. I am the beloved Son. You getting it? Are you seeing it? The minute the devil, the Lord comes and gives you a word, you're healed. The devil picks up that word and says, are you really? Hath God said? Why? If he can make you doubt God's word to you. He can steal God's word from you. 
Matthew 13, immediately, immediately, the fowls of the air come to steal that word. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, contend. That means fight, brother. That means roll up your sleeves, draw a line in the spiritual sand, and tell the devil to get back on his side of the line. God gave us a word there'd be 30,000 people in attendance here I'm not backing up for channel 10 or anybody else are you hearing me? That's my word. Chaperone that word. Guard it. Come on now. It may be dramatic and I may be a little emotional tonight. I can't help it. You ought to get emotional too. If I walked in your house and tried to attack your kids, you take a ball bat and drive me out. But you sit by and let the devil steal your kids right out of your house. If I came to get your wife, you'd beat me to a pulp. Well, brother, it's time to unleash on the devil. It's time, it's time to take back what God promised us. Feel good. I said I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Throw your hands up in the air and shout, devil! I've had it. Enough is enough. Get out of my mind. Get out of my body. Get out of my body. Receive the healing power of God. Shikatai. Lift up your voice yes. in that Holy Ghost language. Shoot an alabama bugrini gishkishkini yodokurva. Listen to me now. If it seems like the devil's prevailing against you. Verse 22. I saw it happen tonight. I meditating on these two verses and I saw it happen tonight. I saw the devil have to give back what you used to possess from God's word. Brother, you used to stand your ground, point your finger under the nose of the devil and tell him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to get off your property. Get out of your bank account. Get out of your mind. Loose his hold on your children. Why have you rolled over and played dead? Why have you given up? Why are you going backwards? Why are you not pursuing the adversary? Why are you rolling over and playing dead? Are you not the blood bought? Are you not the blood washed? Are you not the Holy Ghost filled? Are you not the children of the living God? I mean it. We've let down. Let down. Let down. Time to make your backbone like a T-rail. Spit in the face of the devil. Amen. 
How many of you recognize something you've allowed the devil to steal from you from the word of God? I preached to you last Sunday morning. 99% of you have allowed the devil to steal God's word concerning financial prosperity in your life. You know you have. Something broke in here last Sunday morning. That's the reason God loosed me tonight. To continue in this vein. Brother, it's none of the businesses, it's none of the world's business what God does with the church. Come on now. Something broke in here last Sunday morning. They gave me the report for the week. Every single thing in this ministry literally exploded. The Sunday morning offering got back to where it was. Sunday night burst through anything that we'd ever done on Sunday night. Come on now. Wednesday night unparalleled. The TV offerings nearly doubled coming in. Come on now. I mean it just broke loose. It broke loose like a flood. We got it back. We invaded the realm of the devil and we got it back. Tonight you can get it back. Say, I want it back. Oh, I'm stirred up. I can't help it. I get emotional. Forgive me. Look past my emotion. Something's about to leap up out of my belly and get all over you. How can I stand still? I got a lion caged up on the inside of me, and he's about ready to pounce forth. What are you doing having sad days? What are you doing having blue Mondays? What are you doing being depressed? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you get down in the mouth, molly cogging around, complaining and crying and whining? Stand on your feet, you people of God. Get on your feet. Get your mouth open. Get your hands up into the air and begin to declare the works of my hands, saith the Lord. Well, I'm waiting on God to do something, Brother Rod. I'm just, just waiting on God to do something. God said, declare ye me the works of my hands. You missed that. He said, declare ye me the works of my hands. Tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Did you hear what God said? Tell me what you want me to do and I'll do it. Declare it unto me and I will establish it. Say it and I'll bring it to pass. Now somebody dance with me. Haven't you just had enough? Aren't you tired of being tired? I just can't hardly get around. I'm tired. Standing up here in this old hot choir. If you're tired, get out of the choir. If you don't know how to lock into supernatural strength, get out of the orchestra. We have been so complacent. Just let the devil just walk in. Do whatever he wants. I think it's time to take authority over him. In the name of Jesus. You have. Just heard the Holy Ghost shout amen. You have the God given authority. To produce every work of the kingdom of God in your life. Listen to this now. And the horn prevailed 
against the saints until everybody just say it just say it real calm just say until tonight wrong decisions tired we don't have time for wrong decisions we've got to be accurate in the Holy Ghost come on now until and Satan prevailed against the saints until the ancient of days came. That means he was here when the devil got here. He'll be here when the devil leaves. He is the ancient of days. He is the everlasting Father. He is the mighty God. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He is King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He's never lost a battle, and he's not going to lose tonight. And when he came, judgment was given to the saints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not to judge one another. This judgment came from God. I'm going to have to lay hands on some of you. Some of you are getting it. You dropped your guard. You used to get up every morning. Let me tell you about you. You used to get up every morning. You used to raise this thing up. Fix my tie there, son. Make yourself useful. Thank you. Oh, that's good. You used to get up every morning. You used to say, Devil! I'm awake. And that's bad news for you. You used to say, Devil! It's too late. I got the word on it. I'm healed by the stripes. Oh! I'm healed by the stripes of Jesus. No, I'm telling you the truth. Used to get up in the morning. This is my confession. I am a born again child of the living God. I tremble under my feet the works of hell. Demons tremble when I throw the covers off in the morning. I know who I am. I'm blood bought. I'm blood washed. I'm Holy Ghost filled. It's God above me. It's God beneath me. It's God beside me. Hey devil, hey, 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 hey devil. Don't try to touch my kids today. I raise up a prayer cover, a fiery hedge around my kids. Hey, ain't nobody gonna give them crack today. Ain't no boy putting his hands on my daughter today. No, 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 no. Ain't no accident coming now, my kids today. No, sir, no, sir. I know what the word says. Yeah. But you don't get up that way anymore. Instead of getting up wondering what you get to do to the devil, you get up afraid of what the devil's going to do to you. 
everybody knows I'm preaching the truth, just wink at me. Come on now. Let down our guard. We've let down our guard. We've had more confidence in my, my doll and Dristan than we have Isaiah 53, 5, 1 Peter 2, 24. We've become weak. We've become lazy. While we were in intercession Wednesday night, God spoke this to me. Weak and lazy. Get them stirred up again. Get them wetting their stones. Get them sharpening their tools. He said, I've held them back for a while, but I'm getting ready to turn them loose again. Get them stirred up. They've been in the cave, but it's about time to turn them loose again. I'm about to let them loose again. I'm about to turn them loose on the principalities and the powers of darkness. Yes. In the supernatural sphere, is anybody ready to go to war? Feel it, don't you? It's just a rumbling down on the inside, like a volcano about ready to blow its top. I know what the devil's doing. He's saying, "Stop, Terry." He's saying, "Stop! Don't do that. Don't get them all stirred up again. Don't get them falling on the floor and praying. Don't get them rolling in the dirt. Don't get them forgetting about who they are. Don't get them dancing until they sweat their clothes dirty. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, shut up, devil! We're coming for the battle in the name of the Lord of Hosts. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm praising. Why? Two reasons. Number one, it stills the avenger. You know what that means? It makes the devil shut his mouth. Shut up, cancer. Shut up, blindness. Shut up, poverty. Shut up, defeat. Shut up, depression. Makes him shut up. I'm about to run. I am. Reason number two. Since we are no match for the devil and he's the one that's got us down on the mat. Praise. Brings God on the scene. Praise is the door that the Holy One of Israel walks through into the fiery furnace of your situation and announces I am the ancient of days I'm here devil we are going to pray praise and praise and praise and praise and praise until God's enemies I made his footstool shake Listen carefully. The book of Psalms says, The Lord said unto my Lord. The Father spoke to the Son. The Lord said to my Lord. 
I have given you this throne until your enemy's son said the father become your footstool he's the head we're the body the father said son sit down here cause I'm just about to give your feet the authority over your enemies hey give me a chair give me a chair Says, sit down here, son. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down here, son, and watch me give your feet authority over all your enemies. You're the feet. You're the feet. You're the feet. You're the feet. Yes. Cancer's under your authority. Depression's under your authority. Sickness is under your authority. Sorrow's under your authority. Your kids are under your authority. This city's under our authority. When you praise him, he inhabits your praise. He comes down where you are. Watch it now. And the horn had authority over the saints. Until the ancient of days came. That means the devil's got authority over you until you praise. But once you praise, the Ancient of Days fills the house. He endues you with power to subdue his enemies under his feet and make his feet enemies his footstool. Until the Ancient of Days came and the judgment was given to the saints by the Most High. And the time then came that the saints so he's talking about me that the saints possessed the kingdom you ready You ready to take it by force? You ready to seize hold upon it? You ready to make the devil give back what he stole from you? You ready to get back on the word? Then get on your feet, put your hands in the air, and begin to praise the living God. It feels so good when I praise him. It feels so good lifting him up. When we praise you on our core It feels so good just praising the Lord I said it feels so good It feels so good when I praise Him hey, It feels, feels so good when I praise Him So close to go when we praise you on our core Feel so good, just praising the Lord. Well, we're gonna lift Him higher, 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 higher. It feels so good, just praising the Lord. Say we're gonna lift Him higher, 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 higher. It feels so good, just praising the Lord. It feels so good. It feels so good when I praise Him. Hey, it feels so good lifting Him up. Oh, so close to God when we praise Him, my Lord. It feels so good. It feels so good. 
going to start praising again brother they are entering in from the back row I've only spotted five or six that aren't entering in yes. I'm going to pray they get saved before the night's over they're under such Holy Ghost conviction yes. they can hardly stand themselves yeah. they don't know which way to move where to turn just stand there like some kind of statue that's all right brother let God break through let God break through He's the God of breaking through. Yes, he is. His voice is like many waters. Yes, he His is. His eyes are a flame of fire. Woo! You listen carefully to me. I'm going to pray for you tonight in agreement. My ministry staff is going to pray with you tonight in agreement. I came here tonight for one purpose. Yes. Under the direct command of God. Yes. To set free those of you who have been free and whatever it is is trying to come back. Now the key to success tonight is that we don't stop praising Him. Because if we stop praising him, his presence departs. Come on now. And it's his presence, not our power, that sets the captives free. Some of you have laid down the word considering your physical body. And the enemy is overrunning you with sickness. You've had it. Some of you were sick, healed, and now the sickness has come back. Are you listening to me? We're going to start praising him. I want those of you that I've just spoken about to make your way to this altar and the moment we lay our hands on you, you are drawing a line in the sand telling the devil to get back on his side of the line and you are back on God's word yeah. concerning your physical condition in the name of Jesus. So Everybody him praising higher, him. Higher, 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 higher. It feels so good just making the Lord. It feels so good when I praise Him. Oh, yeah, it feels so good lifting Him up. Have a song, You 
by faith in the name of Jesus. I command that recurring sickness to come out of your body right now. Set you totally free by the power of God. You addiction, you come out. You loose your hold. Let the blessing of God flow to you right now. And no matter where of the healing anointing of God in Jesus' name.
before the Lord of all. Hallelujah. Come on and dance before the Lord of all. Hallelujah. Come on and dance before the Lord of all. Hallelujah. Oh, you pray. He's holy. Come on and give the Lord my eyes praise. Come on and give the Lord my eyes praise. Come on and give the Lord my eyes praise. Oh, Everything's gonna be 
let down on what you would allow the devil access into your life to do. You know you've let down. You used to be a man or woman of the word and you've let down and you know it. Tonight you want that stirred up in you again. To get up in the morning and tell the devil how it's going to be. To get up in the morning and feel the blessing of God on your life. Get down here if you need it in Jesus name. Well, I got a feeling that I feel Jesus, get on your phone. Dial that number right now. There's blessing, anointing, healing, deliverance, salvation waiting on you right now. Do it in Jesus' name. you stop praising. Praise stills the avenger. Praise brings God on the scene. Miracles are transpiring. With all your heart, praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, be all right. Be all right. Be all right.
the Lord, the highest praise. to you now then my wife's been moved on and you know it's God for her to say she's got something from the Lord take this microphone and tell you thus saith the Lord God has spoken I'm telling you God has spoken listen when God said this is my son immediately the devil questioned that word tried to get the son off of that word and said, if you're my son, if you are the son of God. The victory came one chapter later when Jesus had successfully defeated the devil. Hear me now. By consecration and dedication in the mountain of tribulation, he came down out of that mountain of mortal conflict and announce now the spirit of the Lord is upon me and God hath anointed me are you hearing me not before the battle in the mountain not before he got the devil out of his mind out of his body and took authority over the devil trying to rule in his spirit then he announced the spirit of the Lord is upon me and God hath anointed me it takes consecration in the mountain of tribulation. Jesus did not say what he wanted to say. He said what the Father had said concerning his situation. Listen. Here's what God said to me. Our purpose is not to annihilate the works of the devil. Jesus has already done that. Our purpose is only to reveal. Listen now. First John. For this purpose was the Son of God manifested. To annihilate the works of the devil. Then our purpose must be to reveal Jesus. And that will annihilate the works of the devil. Christ likeness. Not shouting. Not just screaming. 
Not just singing. Not just dancing. Christ likeness. Revealing Jesus. In the middle of your most horrendous tribulations. Listen. Tell you what God told me. I did not share this with my wife. Satan seeks to exploit our weakness. Is that true? God seeks to establish in our weakness the nature of his son. Both going to use the same weakness. Come on now. Listen to this. You must allow God to make the battleground of your failings the next area where Christ's likeness is worked in you. There's more to this thing than hooping and hollering. There's more to this thing than jumping and sweating, although that's a vital part of it. God is moving us out in the deeper waters. Now I want you to receive this word as under the Lord. I have, I have known this woman for 12 years. I dated her for seven and I've been married to her for five. Not one time in that amount of time has she ever asked to share a word with this congregation from the Lord. But I watched the Spirit of God come all over her. She could barely stand there. God's got a word to speak to us right now. I want you to receive it. In fact, I just want you just, if you can, just to close your eyes and lay your hands on your belly. Allow this word to penetrate your heart. As I was standing there earlier in the um, service and the laying on of hands was going on, everyone was rejoicing. Um, I felt that the Lord moved on me and I began to weep and, and he spoke saying that while we rejoice with those who have been healed our hearts should also be weep weeping that we still do not possess enough of the power and the presence of God to see everyone set free to see everyone walk out of a wheelchair and tonight is a night of getting it back but we have to keep it and it's more than just saying it's, it only comes through daily consecration, daily communion, relationship. And he kept speaking that same word to me, relationship, 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 relationship. That as we praise him, it's not just because we praise him because he's some kind of egotistical God that just wants to be told how wonderful he is. But it's because as we praise him, we become filled with him and we become fuller and fuller. And we have to be filled with God and walk in that fullness and reveal him and reveal that Christ likeness and that just has to come through daily communion and that to realize through total abandonment that not only as, as that song says we have nothing left but God we really have nothing but God we have no hope but him there is no hope in this world there is no hope in this world system no hope in this government there is nowhere to put your hope but him and in eternity, and we have to begin to get our eyes on eternity, not for just just for ourselves, but to get a picture of hell. And and I've only had, you know, one or two instances like this, but the Lord let me see a loved one of mine, and she was at the judgment seat, and I was there watching, and the Lord told her that she had to depart, and she looked at me as though it was my fault, and it was my fault. And so it is time to focus on eternity, not for ourselves simply, but also for others. That what our lives on this earth are maybe 70, 80 years, even if the Lord tarries. And what we do here affects what's going to happen to us and to others in eternity. And we have to keep our, our eyes set on that also. That has to be our focus. Eternity for us and eternity for others. And that Christ's likeness will produce that. And it's just a daily communion and a daily walk. And, it, and it's time to set this world aside and set pride aside. And when you set pride aside, it's real easy to set what this world has to offer. Because they have, it has nothing. I found that out 
I have no hope in any person. No, people will fail you, but God will not. And when you realize He is it, you have nothing but Him. And I don't want to sound doom and gloom, but when you get to that place, then everything else has, it, has its place. And then we begin to possess more of Him and more of His character and more of that eternity and that immortality and that immortal life on the inside of us. And we can bring that to others. And, and then, with that presence, we can see people walk out of these wheelchairs. I, it grieved me that that young man sat back down because he was with all of his might and all of his faith, I'm sure. And I'm not saying that it was anybody's fault, you know, the men of God that were praying for him or whatever. But, you know, as a corporate body, we should... Eat, all of us possess enough of the power of God. I would love to be like Peter and John. I would love to have my shadow pass and be cast upon someone and they can walk. And not only for healing, but that, that presence of God can convict of sin as well. That when you walk into to, uh, to your families or your workplace, that, that they'd stop their dirty jokes and they'd stop their stories and they'd stop their television or whatever else. And they would say, my, you do convict me of my sin. And and that's what we have to We have to get to that place of total abandonment. And I'm trying in that constant Christ consciousness. But it's a, it is a time of rejoicing, but it's also a time of weeping and a time of, of mourning because we, we are not there yet. And we have, for revival to take place, we have got to get there. And it's burning and it's flickering and the flames are there. But for the fire to really start, it's going to take that that Christ-likeness, that fullness of God in us to make it really happen. Without Him I could do nothing Come on, find yourself a place of abandonment. Without right him, let yourself go and let God take you. I Tell him you don't want anything but him. Tell him you don't need anything but him. Without him, I would be drifting like a ship without. Jesus, oh Jesus, do you know him today? Please don't turn him away.
Here's where you are tonight. The Song of Solomon, chapter 3 and verse 1. Said by night, all the night long on my bed, I sought for him. I sought for him whom my soul loves. I couldn't sleep. I'd seen him yesterday, but it wasn't enough. I knew I'd see him tomorrow, but it wasn't enough. I had to have him then. I had to have him right now. I couldn't sleep without him. I sought him and I found him not. I will arise now. And I will go about the city and the streets and in the broad ways. And I will seek him whom my soul loves. I'm going to get out of the comfort zone. I'm going to get down on my knees. I'm going to get into the trenches of prayer. I'm going to seek him until I find him. I sought him, but I found him not. And the watchman, like Joni's word to us tonight, the watchman that go about the city found me, to whom I said, did you see him whom my soul loves? There are those who can point us to where he is. It was but a little that I passed away from them and I found him whom my soul loves. I held him and I would not let him go until I had brought him into the household of my family. Hallelujah. Is that where you are? You ready to go find him? You ready to take him back into the household of your family? Then while we sing again, pray that Holy Ghost abandoning anointing upon yourself right now. That you're going to win the lost at any cost. That they're going to see Jesus in you. That you would rather die than not exhibit the life of Christ. Seek Him and you'll find Him. Seek Him now and don't let Him go. Without Him I could do nothing. Lord, without you, I'd surely fail. Without you, I would be drifting just like a ship without a sail. Abandon yourself, abandon your hopes, abandon your dreams, abandon what you want, what you desire. Pray that God would fill you with His directive. Do you know Him today? Please don't turn Him away. Pray Jacob's prayer. Less, less of me. More, more of you. Less, less of me. More, more of you. Rend your heart. I would be without him. How lost I would be. got to learn it. You've got to learn to abandon yourself. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. alone I put my trust and find my glory in the power of the cross let every victory let it be said of me my source of strength 
I saw some hope is Christ alone in Christ alone I place my trust I find my glory in the power of the cross that every Jesus here I am here I am Lord here I am Jesus take me use me fill me so my soul so whole is Christ alone. I put my trust. I find my glory in the power of the cross. Let every victory, let it be said about me. My soul so serene. My source of hope is Christ alone. I've never done this in my ministry, but I'm directed to do it right now. I want a man to take hands with a man, a woman to take hands with a woman. Take both hands. Oh, how we need more of His presence. Oh, I'll tell you folks, we're on the brink of revival right now. We're on the threshold of a great move of God. I want you to look that person in the eye if you can. If you can. And I want you to say this to them. I repent that there's still too much of me. There's too much of me. And there's not enough, God. But I'm determined tonight to abandon me and head out for God. Will you pray for me now that there become less of me and more of God? Pray for me now. Now pray. If you can't do anything else, pray in the Holy Ghost. It's all right. There's too much of us. There's too much of us, you see. There's too much of us. There's too much of us. Too much of what I want, not enough of what God wants. Pray for me. Pray for me. I place my Pray for me. Pray for me. I find my glory. You would have to become the Lord of So, so, it's Christ alone. I place my trust. I burn it in the river. Now, just forgive that person. Forgive that person. Release the gifts of God. Release the gifts of God in their belly. Let them come out. Draw those gifts. Draw those gifts. It's Christ alone. I place my trust. I find my glory in the power. Now pronounce the blessing of God. Pronounce the anointing of God. Declare the victory of Christ. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Raise up a prayer.
their finances, bless their families. Loose household salvation for them. Loose it.
is what heaven's gonna be like Well, I feel like shouting feel sorry for the devil. I don't even think he's here. I don't feel his presence, do you? That just hit me, boy. He's not here. God's here. Hey. Yes. Get back to your seat. If you don't give, the greatest offering you've ever given tonight. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. I need to sow some good seed tonight. Hallelujah. I'm going to sow a thousand dollars in this offering tonight. I don't have it. And in the natural, I sure shouldn't be doing it. Don't that sound good? Hallelujah. I feel so good tonight. This may be rapture night. Hallelujah. I don't know. This may be the night. I want to sow a good gift tonight. Clint's already put a gift in my hand. You're sowing the seed for what? Remind me again, Clint. For your father-in-law and their church. Sowing a seed for revival into a church. Mixing his giving with his praying. Hallelujah. Boy, if you missed the last three messages for the offering the last three Sunday mornings, then you get the tapes. Learn to mix your giving with your praying. Now, I don't know what blessing like this is worth to you. 150 nights a year, I'm preaching someplace. And I could count on this hand with a couple of fingers missing the places where the blessing of God is like this. And I'm not saying it because I'm the pastor here. It has little, if anything, to do with me. I'm telling you, God's anointing is on this house. And if you don't believe it, just get back out there in the dry pools where you came from and you'll realize it. It won't be long before you'll be coming back home where there's a river of living water. I want you tonight to give a pleasing offering unto God. Let us please not displease the Lord by tipping Him when He has poured out His Spirit in such an uncommon way. In the name of God, let us praise our God tonight with our giving. In Jesus' name, Father, bless this offering. I give tonight, Lord, because I love you, because I thank you, because I praise you because everything I have is yours Father bless my seed tonight in the name of Jesus multiply it and give it back and I'll sow it again in the name of Jesus Amen get out a gift if you're making a check make it payable to World Harvest Church if you need an offering envelope they're in the pew in front of you I've said enough Clint you said you had a barrage of special music tonight you didn't get to use any of it here comes the lady here comes the lady this is my mommy say mommy glory be to God forevermore tell her you love her 
Maybe Brother Bender or Brother Canfield knows what this means, and I don't know how a man could look like a woman. But as I was sitting there, God showed me just as plain that he was like Rebecca. He came in here all nice and dignified. She came up to the well with her estelada on. But honey, when she went to work for God and began to draw water for those camels, there's been some water drawn here tonight. So I'm telling you, and we're headed toward the marriage supper. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. I mean, he reached down in the cool waters of the Spirit and was willing to draw for us tonight. But there is something about it that God said, if you're willing to give him this offering tonight, Tonight, uh, that he's going to enter back into the marriage covenant with you, honey. Uh, and when you enter into the marriage covenant, that means babies get born. Oh! Oh! Hallelujah! I feel pregnant. I feel pregnant with the souls of your family. I feel pregnant with your sons and your daughters. I feel pregnant your husbands and your wives. Oh, we drew the water tonight from the wells of Jacob. And now, honey, if you'll be like Rebecca, you're willing to give your diary. Yes. Oh, I think got her diary, you know. He got all she had. Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. Oh, God wants to marry tonight. He's tired of an engagement ceremony. Hallelujah. You're standing at the well tonight. You need to dig deep, honey. You need to be like Hannah. My God, tonight you need to empty yourself and give all you got spirit, soul, and body for the saving of your household. Oh, I'm telling you, there's going to be so much household salvation. The devil is so mad, and I'm so glad, and there's nothing he can do about it. If you was pregnant in the natural, and she's pregnant, and I bet already, Clint, she's spending your money. She buying baby clothes. You know, she wants to repaint the crib. She wants to do this and she wants to do that. Well, it costs money to have babies. And brother, it costs a lot of money. Oh, and then it takes your time because it'll be bawling and squalling half the night. If you don't think it takes everything you got to have a baby, just have one. God wants to have babies tonight. But you've got to prepare the nursery. You gotta plant some seed, honey. You gotta dig into your pocket. And if it's a boy you want saved, you better sow for him tonight. If it's a girl you want saved, you better sow for her tonight. Oh, and maybe you want to get married like Rebecca did. Well, you better sow for that husband tonight. Oh, I'm telling you, you talk about a miracle offering. I didn't even have time to write it. I turned around to Pauline. I said, Mercy, grab one of those envelopes, one of those envelopes, stick my name on it, and put an OU on it. Because tomorrow, I intend to put $1,000 in this offering. I want to marry. I want to have babies. Honey, my spiritual room's not going to be barren. Because, Johnny, I don't want to stand up there uh, and want them look over at me uh, and say it was my fault. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can. Uh, I'm going to run fast and hard. Uh, and like Hannah, I'm going to empty myself before the Lord. Uh, and like Rebecca, I'm going to draw from the cool waters. Uh, I'm going to draw from the deep wells uh, of the Spirit of Almighty God. Oh, uh, I don't know what to do. God, I don't only feel pregnant. I feel like I'm ready to give birth. My goodness. You got something? 
This body mind will only contain what's inside of it because what's inside of it was out. Hannah's giving unlocked her womb. Hannah's giving unlocked her womb. Hannah's giving unlocked her womb. Hannah's giving gave life to her children. Brother, if I ever gave in an offering, I'd give in this one. If you're expecting household salvation, I'd make a spend. God bless you, Elja. Oh, God, save her household. Save her household, Lord. Save her household. Save everybody in this house, Lord. Save everybody in this house. Save everybody in this house, Father. In the name of yes. Brother, get the buckets up here. Here they come. Like a flood, they're coming. In the name of Jesus. Here it comes. Let it go. There's a healer in the house today And for you he's gonna make a way Just ask and believe and faith receive There's a healer in the house today I said there's a healer in the house today And for you he's gonna make a way You've got to ask and believe and faith receive There's a healer in the house today It was told that the holy healer he was coming by one day And there was a man who was afflicted But he had the faith to say If I could just get to Jesus My healing would be the proof If I could get through the roof I'll tear off the roof Oh, there's a healer in the house today Well, there's a healer in the house today And for you, he's gonna make the way You've got to ask and believe and faith receive There's a healer in the house today I say there's a healer in the house today Oh, and for you, he's gonna make the way You've got to ask and believe and faith receive There's a healer in the house today If you're sick or you're feeling lonely I've got good news to bring You see, I know a healer and his name is Jesus And to me, he's the king of all kings Oh, he rides on the wind of mercy And there's healing in his wings So, throw off the roof on the dial at your face Oh, now there's a healer in the house today Oh, yeah, there's a healer in the house today Oh, and for you, he's gonna make the way You've got to ask and believe and faith to receive There's a healer in the house today Oh, if you're sick or you're feeling lonely Well, I've got good news to bring You got no a healer whose name is Jesus And to me, he's the king of all kings Oh, he rides on the wind of mercy And there's healing in his wings so throw the roof over the doubt, let your faith come out For there's a healer in the house today Oh yeah, there's a healer in the house today And for you, for you, oh, it's gonna hallelujah So the sash can believe, faith receive There's a healer in the house today I said there's a healer in the house today Oh, you, you want to make a way Hallelujah, just ask and believe, faith receive There's a healer in the house today I wanna do it again Oh, if you're sick or you're feeling wrong Well, I have good news to bring Oh, it's a man Oh, he is the king of all things And he rides on the wind of mercy yeah. And it's healing in his wings So throw the roof off and out Let your face come out And there's a healer in the house today Oh, there's a healer in the house today And for you, he's gonna make a way there's a healer in the house today. I said there's a healer in the house today. And for you, he's gonna make a way. You've got to have that house and the healer in the house. There's a healer in the house. One more time, there's a healer. There's a healer in the house today. And for you, he's gonna make a way. He's gonna make a way. Hallelujah, 
gonna make a way You can trust and believe and faith we see There's a healer in the house today You can do ask and believe and believe and faith we see There's a healer in the house today You got to ask and believe and faith we see There's a healer in the house, healer in the house, healer in the house today Hallelujah, hallelujah 